Are you there? Are we connected? <gasps> Excellent. Truly excellent. Now, we may begin. First, you must create a vessel. Select the head. Select the head that you prefer. Select a torso. shape its mind as your own. Why, what is its favorite food? Okay guys, enough with trying to be all fucking cool and awesome. My name is Ranger Dude. Hello, I know this isn't Dead by the Night. It's Deltron. A game that personally I've never played. I've watched a few episodes from YouTubers. Actually, look that far into it just because I've heard mixed reviews about it. But enough about that. Let's just get right to the game. What is his favorite food? Mine is. It's uh, a good question because it, it all has to be in common. I, I like salt, but I don't like salty. I like sour, but I don't like a sour piece of chicken. Sweet. Your favorite blood type. Um, I'm actually AB, so we'll go AB. What color is it? I would pick black, but black isn't here, so I'll go green. It's for sake of Please give it a gift. Voice. That's what I'm most known for in school, at least. How do you feel about its creation? I have hope for it. Have you answered honestly? No, I haven't. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. <laughs> what? Dude, that's fucked. You acknowledge the pos possibility of pain and seizure. No, I don't. You're still. <laughs> Is this gonna ignore that? Okay. We're gonna go for the classic name of all. Ranger. We called it Ranger. And what about the creator? Your own name. Well, if this is Ranger, I'm obviously Ranger Noob, so R A N uh, G E R. Well, if I was making my something of my own creation, I'll call it this. Ranger. Of course. Of course. Of course. They are the same. <laughs> Damn straight. Ranger. What a great, awesome fucking name. Thank you for your time. I, that's all I can give right now. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. I don't know about that. Oh, shit. Will now be discarded. Okay, cool. 
No one can choose who they are are in this world. Your name is can't see the last thing because it makes it a good Chris No, that's not a good <clears throat> I haven't played Undertale in such a long time. I forgot what voices I gave this bitch. Um <clears throat> Chris, if you do not wake up, you'll be late for school. <laughs> that's the fucking worst. I hate when people do that shit. I'll wait outside for you, alright? Alright. Now, if you don't mind, it's cold and it's hot as fuck in my room. I'm gonna turn on my AC, hopefully. Well, actually. One second. This is highly unprofessional, I know. Okay, hopefully you guys can't hear that in the background. If you can, I'm sorry. But yes, again, welcome to Deltarune. It's a fun game, basically Undertale 2. And yeah, we'll um, we'll play this game and I'll hopefully have a lot of fun. Your bed, clothes drawer. It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. Looks like it has a seat. Oof! Looks like it's seen a quite a few crashes. It's a beautiful day outside. <laughs> Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. <laughs> The drawer is mostly empty except for a skull cross country shirt with a tear in it. There are CDs under the bed. Classical. Jazz. Religious. Sk. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff. As everyone has. It's a computer desk. There's mainly boxes under it, under it filled with old books. Right. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. Amen. There are crayons in the drawer. Their label have long faded. There is no... Fuck you! I hate you! That's so gay, but cool at the same time. It's only you. The door is locked. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tales. A scientific refutation... Can snails help your garden? Um, not really, Erm. Um. A signed copy of the History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. Or Gerson. Sorry if I mispronounced your name wrong. Okay, our room. That has a cool detail, though. I'm glad they didn't just do that just to be haha, <laughs> lol. We have the shitter. Shower. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo and a gallon size of container of pet shampoo. You looked inside the sink cupboard, there's a dildo, a can of Ice E's Cool Boys Body Spray, spray for the boys, the boys, flaming hot pizza flavor, it seems to be mostly, in, almost entirely full, as it should, it's a toilet flushing, amen, you flushed the toilet, yes! This is exactly what I wanted in video games, but you know your boy Ranger, I take them fat, Taco Bell diarrhea dump, so let's uh let's break this thing down. Now in Undertale we did something a lot of times. Yeah, oh Chris, is everything alright? <clears throat> Chris, is everything alright in there? I'm just taking a fat shit, bitch. What you want with it? Flush the toilet. Can I keep is there any more text? Anymore? Flush the toilet. Come on. Okay, after this, I'll stop. Oh. Chris, what are you doing? You did not put a bath bomb in the toilet again, did you? I actually did that when I was younger. Uh, story for later. Let's see. There's a photo on the fridge. It's a view of your mother and your brother. There's some cinnamon batter caked on the stovetop. Disgusting. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Cookie cutters for gingerbread and wait, gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. We don't want to be racist in this world. Yeah, okay, I get it. Cool, cool. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. It's a land. I almost let. Oof. It's a landline. I almost read it as landmine. Phone, but you already have a cell phone. Now. The main gripe I've seen a lot of people have with this game, like Undertale, you had your genocide route, which I fucked up like a year ago. I fucked it up so bad, I couldn't get past Undyne and shit like that. 
but apparently there's only slight variation between complete genocide and complete passive so I'm mostly just gonna be completely passive because of again I don't know endings I don't remember anything I've read because chapter one came out like four years ago it's chair yo the beloved living room chair it's the TV doesn't seem like anyone's plugged in all right I read that wrong but fuck you it's a book of hymns all right, well, let's get out of this dump. Chris, there you are! We might be able to still make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azriel visits that point. One second. But after, I wonder after, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Question mark? And... Here's Undertale, uh, Delta Rune. That was honestly a mess up. Undying that fucking bitch. Still library smart. You can't help but feel joy when playing a game made by Toby Fox. It just feels so warm. It's like if someone gave your heart a hug. We're in school? It's currently summer break for me. Nice hug. Who doesn't like a nice hug? And we're going to class. So, does everybody have a... Whoa, badass Chris showing up late. Oh, Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing a group project this month. Uh, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Quisp, aware of us all's team already have a partner. Alright, bitch. Yo, Chris, show up early next time. I ended up having to be partners with Snowy. Haha. <laughs> now, he keeps turning to me and he's just saying, Howdy, partner, I'm like a cowboy. Partner? I hardly know her. Ha ha ha. What'd you think of that one? Funny, right? No. I'll go fuck myself. Well, I got some news for you, pal. I've already got a partner. Scram! Chris, you know me. Jockey Tin and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate a com a, ooh, a comedic duo ever since our first gym class. <laughs> it's hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So we used me instead. That's our origin story, baby. Whoa! Click, click, tap, tap. Take it. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want this candy cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh, you want to be partners? Um, I should do a higher pitch. Um, sorry, Bertley already asked me. But I asked Miss Alpha so we can make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sh... Mm. Yeah, sure ask. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alpha is, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No! I do not approve of this. I'm bored. But, what? But, but Chris don't have a... No, I... Fuck, I've already forgotten. No, I... Oh, God, I forgot. Shit, it's only been... I have dementia. What are you... Noel, what are you saying? She was just saying we are gonna be fine being alone. I, actually, I just wanted to know if... Now, well, if you could please speak up. Whoa. Hi, Susie. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. That sounds a lot better. Dot, mm -hmm. dot, dot. Am I late? <laughs> oh, oh, no, you're fine. We're, we're just, uh, choosing partners for our next group project, and, um, Susie, you're, you're with Chris. <laughs> Great. Mm, <clears throat> Great. Now that, now that everyone's here, right at, I'll write the assignment. I'm not going to be able to remember everybody's voice. Um, has anybody seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start class without some. Uh, uh, how about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Uh, anyone, please? Hey, there might be some 
there might be a box in the supply closet, Mr. Office. Why don't Susie and I... G good idea, Noelle. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? Whatever. And C Chris can go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble. Thanks, Chris. See you later. I don't like how the music went off. Alright. Let's <laughs> fuck you off. So stupid. She looks like fucking Barney, dude. Chris. Didn't see you there. <clears throat> fuck. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Hmm. You can't even say? Chris. Oh shit. Oh fuck, dude, she's like six foot eight. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Oh shit. Quite people piss me off. Aw, oh, dude, that is badass. You think just cause you don't say anything, I can't exactly... Ooh, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chuck. <laughs> this was her last chance and now she'll finally be expelled. <laughs> Come on, Chris, don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everybody's waiting for it. Everybody wants it. I <laughs> can't blame them. So, congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste just to get expelled for having a snack. So, Chris, if I want to know what you're gonna pull, <laughs> I read that wrong. Fuck. Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel about losing your face? Oh shit, bite of 87. Nah. I sound like corpse. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury the child. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, mosey back to class, and Chris, you'll do our project. Now that so sounds bad. Don't bother answering. Ugh. Ugh. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Well, fuck off. I hate, I love callbacks like that. Let's go, freak. Go the other way. Look through the frosted window. A blurry yellow object is teaching a bunch of blurry, bored looking objects. Yeah, school has never been fun for me. I'm too smart for that shit. The locker is covered in a jockey tin more brilliant. Are you ready for the Shady Hawksman dance? At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads. And screech at students make that wait. And screech at any students that make eye contact while dancing. Chris, you're just gonna skip school? What am I supposed to snitch on you? That'd be rich, huh? Nah, I wouldn't. Get back here. Nope. You drank from the water fountain. <laughs> People always put their mouths on that, you know. Speaking of water, if I'm gonna be talking if I'm gonna be speaking out the dialogue, doing all these fun, crazy voices, I need a water break. Alright, hold on. Let me crack one open. Oof! Oh, god damn. Alright. Chris, what? Realize the baby... Wait, what? Realize the baby class was better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. Alright. Susie. God, can you walk and you saw her what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around with someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Again, another water break. This is fucking up my voice. Well. She, seen, she would have like that tomboy voice, so I don't want to give it up. Well, the closet. Here's the closet. Too bad. We're just starting. Ha we were just starting to have fun. Ooh, <laughs> hubba hubba. I don't mind purple colored women. Uh, hey Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? Uh, yeah. What's the hold up, Chris? You gonna go in or what? 
Nope. Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... We'll both go in at the same time. Whoa. See you. Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find some... Let's try to find a light switch, will you, faggot? That's weird, I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, kind of a big closet, huh? I think we'll have to reach by the end of that room. Hey, Chris. I think this closet's, uh, broken. There aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants some chalk, she can get it herself. Let's split. And, oh. Oh, what a big surprise. What, what, what the... Hey, this is funny. Let us out. Let us. Dot 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 question mark. The floor, it's. Wow! Oh, dude, that's a fucking cool character model frame. Sorry, I, I love RPG games like this in Nertel. There's just something really sweet and kind about them. Alright, now I can actually speak what I want to speak. Um, can't forget about... At times, you see it flickering. The light only you can see. By second nature, reach out and... <gasps> Save 21 minutes! Jesus, people are going to get bored of this shit real fast. Okay, nice ambience, but... I miss games like these. I haven't played a good game like this in such a while. Okay, a little butt plug thing shaking back and forth. Right, I'm gonna use the arrow keys. Yes. Now, if you recall last time from Undertale, the few streams I did, if you ever saw those, I saw that. I fucking saw that. You can't hide that shit from me. Eyeball. It's too dark to see anything. But, I'm usually not the best at these games, so let's hope I don't go against any crazy, wacky bosses. I see that shit, dude. You're not sneaky. It's too dark to see anything. Some piles of cum, as you do. A little sparkly thing. I don't know if there's like an achievement for there's something glowing inside. Taken? Of course. You got the glow shard. But I'm not the best at these games, so again, if I don't go into one like fucking Sans level, because I'm pretty sure if I went against Sans, I would literally have broken my headset because I'm not good at those fucking kinds of games. Woo! Alright. So obviously it's gonna come in. Shit. I'm bad at these fucking games, especially Cuphead. I played it with a friend a couple of days ago. And I just sucked ass at it. You bathe your body in the light. A power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you've had melted away. HP fully restored. Let's go. In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the way. Again, I was really bad at Undertale. Not bad in the fact that I couldn't beat it. Besides Undying, that was like the hardest boss I went against. If I went against Sans, it would literally have taken me like a few hours to do it. Alright, that was a really simple puzzle. Let's carry on. Again, I don't know what these... More dildo things. Fall down. Oof. The fuck was that, dude? Okay, I'm, I'm actually getting. Dude, my eye. I scratching my eye not to be like, oh, what the fuck was that? But I don't know. I might honestly be seeing shit. Ooh. Hey, b -b back off! Don't come any closer, Allah. Chris, phew. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Whoa, Valker. 
Unless you want to get clocked in the face. <laughs> Anyways, enough screwing around. We've got to find a way to get out of here. I'm just going to do a deeper version of my voice because I can't really keep doing the rest. Um, is here anyway? If it doesn't matter, you got us in this mess. You get us out. Lead the way, Chris. Piss. Whoa. <laughs> little tango dance in work. Chris, I'm getting really fucking dizzy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god, never mind. You walk way too slow. I thought that was going to be special dialogue. Alright. Get a nice ambience. Hey, um, hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any idea what they want? Oh, shit. Run, run Chris. Ooh, ooh. Can't touch me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Fuck. Again, if I make weird noises, I'm sorry, but... I'm really... Gotta focus here. Ooh. Fuck. My ass literally clenches whenever I'm about to get in. Alright, go, go, go. Shit. Chris, down here. I just didn't. So it's really it's so. Okay, nothing too hard. Just gotta keep good on side. Alright, let's go. Easy claps. 0% hit run. Called it. Calling it right now. Anything about this? No. Ah. Oh, you're not dead, sweet. Got any idea what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. Okay, Susie, your fat fucking dino ass blocking the, uh, why I want to go. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. Okay, shop. It's locked. It's locked. Let me take a wild guess. It's locked. Ha! <laughs> Got it. Another save point? I'll try to keep these around an hour long. Or I'll cut out shit if it's boring. But I'll most likely want to do that with these kinds of games. Especially this one. I think this is going to be very, very nice. Castle. What the fuck is this castle and a supply castle? Oh. Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please come forward, both of you. Welcome, I'm the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there's a legend in this land. The legend that one day two heroes of the light will arrive and fulfill their ancient prophecy foretold by space and time. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. I'm a nice guy. Very well then. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among the shadows. It was a legend of a hope. It was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light. It was a legend of dark. This, this is the legend of Delta Room. Whoa, that's the name of the game, with the F? For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance. Bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The sky would rain black with terror. And the land would crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding, the earth would draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes upon that world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fact.
Founding of darkness. The geyser that gives this land form stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. I gotta adjust my fan. Holy shit, I'm sorry. Sorry if I'm killing your immersion. And with it, the light begin. The, ch the shit's changing and shit. Again, I have a little fan that I keep my PS4 warm, and it's like loud as fuck right now. I'm wondering if I... Alright, there we go. It's quiet. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you too are heroes of the legend that despite whatever enemies you may face, you too have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? <laughs> uh, nah. W what? <laughs> Me, some kind of hero or something. <laughs> you have the w got the wrong person. But, but, Susie, without you, the, the world will. <laughs> so what? If the world ends, or if the world gets destroyed, <laughs> it's none of my damn business might even be kind of fun honestly anyway Chris if you want to play pretend with this weirdo stick around I'm going to find a way out of here Susie wait how ho ho what I hell I can't I gotta think about this guy's voice I'm gonna take a drink of water the soundtrack is busted, dude. The heroes are no. Wow, the heroes already are running away. And he didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son. Who the hell are you? I'm a bad guy. You clown, you seal the our dark fountain behind. Still picturing you guys are as glad to save the world from eternal darkness. Huh? Uh, your voice kind of sucks. Don't try to. Don't try to deny it. Yeah, that's better. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lanzo, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Uh, nice plan, kid. Rip, really? Yeah, actually. What if we use it on you instead? Let's run nuts in. Again, I'll spare. I don't like to. His name was. Oh, yeah. Again, I don't want to hurt him. He seems like a cool kid. Like that, but it's check compliment. Uh, not call, not to call it a spade a spade, but he's a spade. Not old enough to ride a motorcycle, so he sets his bike on fire like a true BA. I love to get crashed. Whoa, I wasn't. My hand was not on my controller. Okay, shit. Oh, Susie, no okay, can't help it. Lancer's motorbike is actually just a bike that's on fire. Warning! Tell Lancer to watch out for Susie and Daddy. He's ready for some time. Dude, my voice. Oh, I'm not ready for some I'm fucking trying to get a sip of water. Again, I didn't vocally prepare for this because I didn't know there'd be that many hardcore characters. Lancer switches gears randomly to appear competent. Um, and... Uh, check. Oh, compliment. I press check and said compliment. Tell Lancer, you can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack will be natural. Oh, 
you mean if you do this? Oh, okay. Fuck, I suck. Wait a second, my bike's running out of fuel. You are a few punkaroos. You have to walk up the strap this time, but next time, you losers will be you. Haha, uh -huh. bye, faggots. I gotta get on for dinner. Everybody had those rules. I... Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself properly. I am... Jeez, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you from under there. Uh, um, alright. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, that one. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Adriel. I'm Rousing. Fuck. I can't even say my own name. Chris, Susie, it was ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're gonna be great friends and... Best way to leave it is east, right? Yes. Where are we all? Got it. See you at school, Chris. Um... I suppose it's just the two of us, then. Ralsei... You look... Kind of gay. Chris. I'm a prince, but I'm currently doing a female voice because Ranger's throat is fucking hurting. I've been waiting alone here um, my whole life for two for you two to arrive. So I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. I'm sure we can. Let's try to find Susie. She must be heading southeast or wherever the fuck direction I said. You can lead the way, Chris. Thank you. Alright, so we got Lancer and Ralsei. Some c couple of kooks. Save again, just in case. Ralsei, the lonely princess is now your ally. The power of fluffy boy shines within you. Amen. 37 minutes. God damn. Any of this stuff will be from the shop. The door is locked. There's no one Alright, so everything's still, still closed. Uh, Chris, you know you can hold. I did not know that. Really? Right. You'll move faster by holding circle. And I'll be right behind you, so don't worry. Unless you want to get away, in which in case... Oh, shit. Come on, there's gotta be something if, like, you run in a circle for eight minutes, they fucking be like... I'm tired of you fucking running, Chris. Um... Oh, Chris, it's a training dummy my game. Now it seems like a great chance for fast one. Would you like to teach me how to teach you? Oh, uh, don't. I'm pretty sure I understand. Right, you already thought about it, didn't you? I'm so excited to teach you. I was absolutely blanked. But, but, um, just in case you forgot anything, yeah, I made a manual for you. So as you press triangle to open your menu and then you... And fuck me. You got the manual. Thank you. It's a dummy. It's just a dummy. Fucking bitch dummy. Hate you fucking asshole. Oh my, the great door is open. No wonder why I was able to come through. Chris, once we pass through the door, our adventure will really be in. A journey for all. Exactly by the prophecy. But Chris, I believe your choices are mine too. This world is full of kinds, all kinds of people, Chris. And the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try to be our best without fighting. We can manage to do that. I believe this town may have a happy heavy. Otherwise, I fear that we may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry, that was too much. I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero. I hear what I saw. You lost your best, alright? Well, guys, I'm gonna think I'll end this episode, uh, I'll end this episode here. This is just the start to a great journey, and I hope you guys will be there with me in future episodes. Now, again, thank you for watching. If you were able to stick with me this entire time, and again, I'll see you next time. Later!